Can I be seen? Can I be seen? Can I be seen? the books by her. Okay, right. Well, Good evening, good afternoon. Let me see if I can get this thing going. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, um, good evening, good afternoon, uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, this is Silver and Sidiel for those on Instagram and for those on Facebook as well. I want to welcome you to the late one at the later time of 10.15 uh, UK time. <clears throat> Let me know if you can hear me very clearly. Um, just give me a thumbs up as well and I say hi. Ah, right, okay. It's interesting, it's been a very um, interesting day in regards to the whole uh, saga regarding the deportation of Jamaicans um, from the UK. But I'm not gonna go into much detail, but I just wanna point out something which I saw today and which someone actually showed me that someone showed me something today which was very 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 and very concerning i want to share this video with me because i'm going to come from a different angle right first of all i, I must say that I, I i took the time and i watched the debate today and i actually showed the debate um when the uh david lamy opened the question today to the junior home office minister about the pending plane and the news came tonight now that it has been held the court of appeal had the deportation of the plane but have you seen the the, the 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 heading of this topic for those on instagram you do not have it you do not have it but for those on facebook you'll see the heading which i've put right the heading is this and for instagram this is the heading in the newspaper which is the telegraph Court of Appeal halts deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals. Court of Appeal halts deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals. Okay, note that. Right. Another contrasting one was from the Independent. Court ruling stopped deportation of some Jamaican nationals after phone outage left them without legal advice okay today right through regarding the uh debate which has been happening in the house of commons today it, the word was wind rush wind rush wind rush the government minister kept saying separate wind rush from criminals separate wind rush from criminals the government minister kept saying that uh, what we should do is have to look at the crime and not at the nationality. Look at the crime and not at the nationality. Nothing to do with Windrush, it is crime. That's what the minister said. The minister kept saying. And I've been thinking to myself, I don't want to come on live tonight just to talk about the same thing which everybody's talking about. I have been on the topic, uh, I've shown the topic, I've, I've discussed it. Someone chastised me today by saying, where was I? Why wasn't I in Westminster? And, uh, you know, I don't do demonstration. I don't do demonstration and making noise and stuff like that. You know, listen, when there's a war, right? And if one understands the art of war, when, when there's a war, you've got different persons that operate, yeah? You've got the persons that operate on the field. They are the shoulders, the, the foot soldiers, pie, pie, pie. You've got the scud missiles. You've got those who fly. 
he got those guys who stay in the room and the guys on the, on the, on the ground, they will say, listen guys, listen, we are under attack, sending some, um, some missiles or whatever like that. And what they do, they say, what is the coordinate? And they send in the coordinate and these guys in the room just go like this with their drum, boom, 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 boom. Not everybody fight battles the same way. Some are strategic. I consider myself a strategic person. I operate on the background, okay? So that gentleman was saying, why Silver is not there? I'm a lawyer for argument's sake. I go to court every day. Why well, I got court five days this week. I got to be in court tomorrow morning. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be in Downing Street making noise and stuff like that. But what I do in the meantime is having discussions with persons. I've had discussions with Jamaica. I've had discussions with the Conservative Party. I've had discussions with different persons as to the whole thing. But something that struck me today, something that struck me very powerfully today, ladies and gentlemen, is when I saw the article, the narrative, the headline for the Telegraph saying Court of Appeal halts deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals. Windrush criminals? Windrush criminals? Court of Appeal halt deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals. Now, you got Windrush being associated with criminals you got Windrush now being associated with scandals. You got Windrush associated with a negative thing. And one thing, I'm not backing the minister for everything. He said whatever. But there's something that he kept saying. Separate the Windrush from the crime. Separate Windrush from the persons on this plane. Windrush persons came to this country, invited by the government. They build this country, the nurses, the matrons, those driving, those on the train, um, those building the road, building whatever, after the war to rebuild the UK, right? Of course, there was a scandal. Of course, there was a scandal. And as a result of that scandal, it is 5,000, 3,000, too much of persons who were removed illegally from the UK, right? And that is something which is scandal. And as a result of that, that is why they're talking about the review paper, which was leaked. And what they're saying, hold the plane until that is sorted. Hold the plane till that is sorted. Is it holding the plane or is it making sure that the right persons are, are um, you know, deported, if anything? I got a call from Jamaica as well and uh, persons have been watching it. And, 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 and what came up, and this, was, this, this struck me really. He said, Silver, we've got to be careful that we're not grooming the Jamaican community. The Jamaican community is not being groomed a certain way, whereby the Jamaican community now is now somewhat maybe deemed as Windrush. And the newspaper now is linking Windrush with criminals. The newspaper is linking Windrush with scandals. The UK is now linking Windrush with deportation. And I know persons who are of the, the, um, the Windrush community. They're silent. And their heart is breaking because they say, this is not what we are about. This is not what it was about regarding us. They came, they did their bit. They actually uh, do the paperwork and they got themselves sorted. The question we've got to ask ourselves is this. Is it the plane to be stopped? To stop the process of the law for persons who are lawless? Are people aiding and abetting to a certain way for the government, if anything, to stop the due process of what the law from 2007, where the Home Office have to do their duties? Now, one thing do I agree with, and one thing I believe fundamentally is that people need access to the law. People need access to legal advice. People who are in this country from date of birth, there should be some questions signed about them being deported. People who came in this country very early, there should be some questions signed about them being deported. But, but, but you've got to ask yourself this question. How did these persons, if anything, find themselves in this situation? We've got to have some serious soul-searching questions we've got to ask ourselves. We've come to the point where a newspaper in the UK can actually print something saying the Court of Appeal held deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals. Is that to be challenged? Of course it is to be challenged. But it's difficult to challenge it when everybody keep linking Windrush with the deportation. 
it's difficult to challenge it when people are saying we are deporting Windrush people. When at the same time they are saying they are criminals, the government is saying they are criminals, the government is saying they are criminals, they have served time, they are over 300 years, but at the same time we are saying they should be stopped from departing because they are Windrush. So why can you blame the newspaper now by saying the Court of Appeal halt deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals? Windrush is a line and a sign and link with the word criminals. Windrush criminal. Where do you get Windrush criminals from? Where did that come from? How did that come? Why? Well, I listened to the debate and all the Labour MPs actually that were saying Windrush, 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 Windrush. And I do agree and I accept the sentiments in that certain way. But I'm looking down the road. I'm looking at the long term in regards to this, ladies and gentlemen. Right? I'm concerned about the negative and the narrative aligned and assigned to Jamaica. Right? Good evening, Cyprian. Right? I'm concerned about the fact that somehow, by demonstrating and all those sort of things, one could be deemed to be aiding and abetting a process in a negative way. I'm concerned at the same time that this could have a kickback effect, even with the Brexit negotiations. Because we're at this threshold now with Brexit, whereby there need to be some level of negotiation with CARICOM, with the Caribbean, with Jamaica. I sense there's going to be a backlash to a certain extent. And I do question at times, and I do say it all the while. Why are the facts not out there as to who the persons are based on the fact from that about um, um, David Lamy and all those persons? How do they not know who all these persons are? Are they genuine persons on that plane or should be on that plane to be deported? Are they Windrush persons? Of course, they say there's going to be this reclassification of Windrush. Why the lawyers initially could not have got them off? Were, did they have lawyers before in the first place? Were they lawyers? Were they not lawyers? Is it now they're getting lawyers? You go through the process. Right? If so innocent, where was the legal representation? Listen, we've got to ask ourselves these questions. Nobody's asking these questions. Everybody's caught up with the hype. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Maybe Sid Bernard's the one to do that. Don't worry, I'm used to it, getting hard about But we've got to think about this thing. We've got to think about the fact that on today, newspapers are actually aligning, assigning Windrush with criminals. Windrush criminals. Just say offenders can be put on a 6.30 a.m. charter flight on Tuesday unless home office can approve they have full access to lawyers. So therefore, the plane is not stopped, actually, just to let you know. They've got to ensure that they have access to laws. If they have access to laws uh, before, then they can be still put on the plate. But I'm just concerned about the narrative. I'm just concerned about the fact that um, the, we, we, we are finding the, the community um, going backwards in a certain way, whereby narrative, negative stereotypes, if anything, is assigned to the Jamaican community. Why? Right? It's not good. Why? Right? It's not good. Why? Right? A, 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 a minority of persons, if anything, could be affecting the name of the Jamaican brand. A minority of persons who did wrong, right? And no matter what we say, yeah, I understand. I understand the arguments for and against and stuff like that. But we've got to put this in proper perspective. I don't know what you say, you know. And, um, and, 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 and people will, will say many different things based on, based on my, my, my thinking now. Um, but it would be very interesting to hear what, what persons say in this respect. But I, I just cannot accept, I cannot accept the, the narrative and, um, of being, Windrush being as a line, a line and a sign to criminals. That's the thing. Is it possible to be Windrush if you are below 60 years of age? I was speaking to my good friend Corey a while ago from Jamaica, who come here regular, um, and, and the question is, well, we're not Windrush. We benefit from the Windrush, but I, I'm a first generation Jamaican in this country. Corey is a first generation Jamaican in this country. Okay? So we're not part of the Windrush generation. 
Why? But at the same time, you got remember the word slave baby, right? Slave generation. So now you're having the Windrush generation, and the Windrush generation maybe is now being assigned to everyone. That is why the newspaper found it rich. The newspaper found it perfect. And when these guys sit in their room, of course you know what they do when they sit in their room. They work it out and say, let's go for Prince. Uh, let's let's go for um, uh, what should I say? Let's go for Philip Schofield. Philip Schofield's argument say, wow, let's applaud him. Let's applaud with Philip Schofield for what he did. He came out, wow, power to the people, power to the LGBT. I'm just using that as, as an example. And they say, yes, good headline, good headline. And the next headline they're going to say is this. Well, what did he do? He cheated on his wife, right? Dirty, you know, wrong. Old man, you know what I mean? Why is he coming out now? And they, and they spin the whole thing. As you can see, you're seeing some different narratives coming from that. Because that's what the newspaper do. That's what they do. They build a narrative. Court of Appeal had deportation of Jamaican windrush criminals. Court of Appeal had deported of Jamaican windrush criminal. The wind, and, and guess what? Let's find out. And this is what we need to find out. We need to establish this. Are they descendants of persons from windrush? Can we get that as well? Can we get that answer as well? You know? uh, just because they came here at the five years of age, if anything like that, are they a part of the windrush? The windrush generation needs to be clear. It is persons who came on that windrush um, um, boat and maybe uh, within that period and a couple of the boats or so within a particular period to build the UK. They need to be a cutting off so in order to preserve, preserving that windrush narrative, preserving the persons from the period, not cheating it, right? There's a level of cheating these days of narratives. There's a way of cheating things when people actually um, what, 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 what should I say? I, I said it last night. Rape, right? Sometimes they said rape is being cheapened. Racism, racist. Something people say everything is racist now. Cheapening it. So therefore, when it's the right thing, when it's the real thing, it's like a cry wolf. You know, it's like a cry wolf, a cry wolf situation whereby everybody's jumping up and down. And when the real thing come, when the real issue come. You've lost the battle. You've lost the, the, the narrative. And uh, you're, you're, you're grabbing on strands or so like that. You know? So I'm not, I'm not caught up with this whole narrative. I'm not caught up with this whole thing. I believe there should be fairness. I believe there should be justice. I believe that the right person should be deported. I believe that the, the persons who are illegally deported should be taken off that plane. And they should have legal advice. I believe that completely. But if but the way we are going and the way it is happening now, you've got you've given full reign to the media to actually saying the Jamaican community in the UK is fighting to keep the criminals in the UK. Right? Now, what is a criminal? Who is a criminal? Let's break that down now. Because they say, oh, they're not non-violent criminals. Ah, you say non-violent criminals. But guess what? They're actually criminals. Legally, what is a criminal? Right? And what they, what they, what they, what they, what they, what they, what they said? Persons, or persons who are qualified, rather, to, to, um, to, to be reported. Persons who have served time over 12 months in prison, convicted, tried, guilty. Criminals could be uh, overstayer. It's criminals because it's a crime. Rape, statue rape, crime, robbery, crime, right? Did they say criminals? Over 300 or 500 years of persons is criminals. So therefore, we've got to be very careful there. This is what I'm saying. And this is some <laughs> people, people coming from Jamaica and they say they're watching this. And it doesn't look good because they believe it's having a, kick, a kickback effect in Jamaica. We've got to be careful at the same time while we are... Wanting to stop this plane. Is it the plane we, we are stopping? Is that the plane that we should be stopping? Or we should be stopping the persons who are to be deported illegally? It is, is it the plane? Because all I'm hearing is stop the plane, stop the plane, stop the plane. Based on, a, uh, what should I say? A leak last year of a report which is not finalized as yet. A leak. So we're stopping the plane, stopping the process. So therefore, what we're doing now, we're actually setting the precedent. And this is the precedent which is being set. 
stop terrorists, if anything, from deporting, stop criminals or anything from being deported. Then how can you actually then want America to then uh, expatriate, uh, to, to deport or to send back that, well, not deport that lady, but well, you know, you know, try to justify the lady who killed the little boy. I don't know if that's a good, um, that, that's a good narrative there. But we've got to be very careful, as far as I'm concerned, that we are maybe not aiding and abetting a, a criminal process at the same time. As I said, this talk, this will have mixed feelings. This will have mixed feelings. But what I'm saying is what people want to say, but they don't want to say. You understand? Of course, sometimes I'm the fall guy that will say things that nobody wants to say. Because I don't believe in to be pat on my back or to be, uh, what should I say, to be the nice guy or something like that. As I said, somebody chastised me saying, Super, I don't know where, where it is. Why are you not down in Westminster? Why are you not, you know, blah, 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 ray, ray, ray. I don't do demonstration, man. I keep saying that to people. Why I don't do demonstration, you know? I, I don't do that. That doesn't mean to say I'm not supportive of a cause, but I don't do demonstration. And I, and I don't want anybody to feel that because you're not there, that you are somewhat... Um, feel that you sh you're worse off or you're not a part of the process. You, you, you can empathize, you can sign a petition. There are many different ways you can do things, right? Many people write, I write a lot, right? Today I've been writing, talk, email, emailing, I'm in conversation with persons from uh, political parties, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm aligned to a political party, giving some views, we're talking and saying different things, things which I won't disclose, you know what I'm saying? There are many different ways one can actually achieve certain things, you know? My job is sometimes to create a platform where people can understand and see what is happening, giving a different perspective, giving a different angle, giving a different narrative to the whole thing. Okay? But we've got to think about this, and that, that's all I'm going to leave. That's all I'm going to leave with you. You know, that what we have done, in a way, we have earned, we have given credence and credibility to the newspapers to actually say and to put a headline. And they can justify it. Yes, they can justify it because we have given them the ammunition to justify it, where they can put in the newspaper, a national newspaper, to say, Court of Appeal, halt deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals. Yes, we have given them the right. In House of Commons, they say they are Windrush persons. Where after uh, David Lamy used the Windrush narrative. He used that as a basis for his argument to say, this is what has happened and we're going to do it again. Right? So therefore, the newspapers can say deportation of Jamaican Windrush criminals because it's a fact. Some of them are criminals. It's a fact. Okay? Some of them may not be criminals fact some of them may be caught in the loop right fact i mean as i'm talking to you people are just people are just sending me things uh, 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 uh. let me see what, what people are saying i, I mean um you know it, it's it's different view what is it can you tell me yeah and like potential what is it potential deportees are winning much the headlines and the headlines suggest that the potential deportees are Windrush persons. That's what it is saying. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, interesting ruling by the court of it. So maybe people won't be deported tomorrow. That's somebody sending me messages there. So that's it. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Is it right? Do I make sense? Let me know if anything. Uh, tomorrow we'll see. I just spoke to someone a while ago who is there, and and what they say is that the plane is halt. Uh, they don't know what's going to happen, but that's what someone. I just spoke to at the detention center um, who is scheduled to be on the plane. But of course, what they said is that, and uh, it, it, it's very clear what, what they say is, um, it says they, da, 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 let me go for it. Court deals blow to UK government deportation plan. The government has received a blow to its plan to deport about 50 people to Jamaica after one of two legal actions to try to have the scheduled fight succeeded. The Court of Appeal made the ruling in an emergency out of house Hearing on Monday night, ordering the Home Office not to remove anyone scheduled to be deported from two detention centers near Heathrow on 6.30 a.m. flight to Jamaica on Tuesday, unless satisfied they had access to a functioning non-O2 SIM card 
on or before the 3rd of February. So what that is saying that is that um, they're not to remove anyone. They're not to remove anyone scheduled to be deported from two detention centers near Heathrow on the 6.30 a.m. flight to Jamaica on Tuesday unless they are satisfied that they had access to a functioning non O2 SIM card on or before 3rd Friday. So therefore, what that is saying is that the plane is not really hacked. You know what I mean? It is just that it's stopping or preventing some persons from going if they can prove that they never had phone. Because a lot of people are saying they never had phone. There has been a problem with the O2 phone network in the Heathrow Detention Center since the last month. So many detainees have not been able to exercise their legal right to contact their lawyers. And as a result of that, so the earlier the High Court judge refused an emergent application to have the charter flight. Mr. Justice Monty refused an application from Duncan Lewis solicitors on behalf of 13 Jamaican-born men due to be put on a flight leaving at 6.30 a.m. The lawyers argued that the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, had acted unlawfully by forcing the men on the plane, by forcing, uh, it's a bit strange, had acted unlawfully by forcing the men on the plane, men are not on the plane yet, yeah. had breached human rights legislation and denied them adequate access to legal advice. The application to the High Court to have the flight added that the Home Office announcement in the media and in Parliament about the charter flight would make them being deported a public spectacle if they were returned to Jamaica and them at risk. Listen, I've been getting some information as well, and, and it is very concerning, you know. Us, you know, and, and also as well, one one of the things which is which is very interesting is that, and what I what I what I don't know is the implication on Jamaica as well. There's going to be an implication on Jamaica because of the crime issue there. And um, I don't know what the government is doing. Somebody called me today and was talking about she would really go back to Jamaica now and set up some sort of uh, uh, room or so when they go to the airport. So when they come from the airport, they don't have to go right up because everybody becoming paparazzi. And by becoming paparazzi, they are taking pictures and everything and put it on social media to create their vlogs. She said like somewhere where they come off the plane, go onto a bus, go to the, go to the center of the airport or whatever like that. And then go away and then they change and refresh themselves so nobody will know which is and i think that is very dignified as well um so so a lot of things need to happen i've discussed in the past used to do something with persons being deported and rehabilitated and and, and things like that and one of the things i'm going to try to find as well i'm going to try some uh, there must be some good luck story there must be some positive story of persons who have been deported and make amends to their life as well because you know it, it, it's you know People make their bed and they lie in it. So all I can say, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, not to accept certain narratives. I still inbox your details, maybe an issue with one. I still inbox you details, maybe an issue with one individual in particular. Yeah. Um, so so what I'm saying is this: uh, live right, live good, take care of one another. Um, you know, follow the laws. As much as possible as I you know follow laws to the T yeah um, and 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 try to this narrative you know we're not win uh, not not you know protect 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 the wind rush legacy right let it not be trivialized let it not be politicized as much as possible and follow the law so that's that's all I've got to say um, let me see if any comments there because I'm, I'm not been um, looking at the comment section. Excellent, simple, and on point to life. On point life today. Inbox you details, maybe an issue one individual in particular. Listen, I'm all, I'm all, listen, I'm all about um, justice. I'm all about, um, you know, fairness. I'm all about, um, you know, representing and, and um, fighting for persons who are, you know, unjustly dealt with, you know persons who need uh, representation, persons who need to be helped. You know, I'm all about that. But we've got to be really fair in the whole process of life as much as possible. I don't like the headline which I put it up, but I guess it will attract persons because it says the Windrush criminals. Never heard of that before, but a newspaper found the right and found the ammunition to do it because we gave them that right and we gave them the ammunition to do it okay by our actions but kudos as well to the fight kudos as well to the persons who actually um you know stand their ground as well because not everybody will go out there and do it so to the activists well done 
all right so ladies and gentlemen you can watch it on replay remember to like subscribe don't dislike to my channel you look on youtube silver tv look on facebook Silver tv and you can even go on to um what's, what's it instagram yes i'm there silver tv and silver there's only one silver in the world and there'll be no other trust me um so so take care and all the best and peace out and thank you so much for joining on instagram and on facebook but that was my thought today but uh good good that things are happening as well and uh we'll see what happens tomorrow and i'll keep giving updates on this as well okay Sorry. And those on Facebook, have a good night. Wes, we keep missing each other. Let us touch base. Um, and for those on Facebook, and the wall, Angela, Heather, Kwame, Tina, yeah, peace out.